you notice or um, how you would describe it. And if you're new to yoga, welcome. And we're glad that you're here and thinking about getting started. And yoga was really the first experience that I had beyond this idea of just endorphins that you feel better after you, you know, get your blood pumping a little bit. But the yoga high is different than that. It's more than that. Yoga, I went to yoga for the physical. I went to regain strength and mobility in my arm following a really um, scary <laughs> car accident and um, surgery. And so that's why I went. But I was terrible at it physically. Couldn't hold tabletop, couldn't do down dog. That wasn't really what brought me back to yoga. It's not what kept me going. It was this feeling after yoga. And it was the first experience that I had with any kind of exercise where at the end I felt nourished and replenished instead of just tired or worn out from the work of the exercise. And I was really trying to figure out like what this was and how this was happening. And one of the things I realized early on is, and I say this a lot in my classes and with my, um, my students, is that yoga is nourishing. It's a nourishment, not a punishment. And all day, every day, our brain is in charge, right? And our mind is going and it's juggling everything and trying to keep us from forgetting something and reminding us of this and reminding us of that. But in yoga, it gets a chance to take a back seat, to be still, that all you have to do in yoga is flow the body with the breath and the mind doesn't have to do anything. And we end each class in Shavasana, which really allows the good of the practice to settle in and soak in and for that mind to really soak up a few minutes and moments of just being able to be still and just breathing. And when I'm at the end of a practice and I'm in Shavasana, the final pose, I feel like how during the day I've been pulled this way and pulled that way and in this direction and and everybody's had a little, you know, piece of me and I'm all pulled and, you know, going all different directions. And I'm all spread out that at the end in that Shavasana pose, it's as if all of it draws back together and that I draw back together. And I feel centered. I feel grounded. I feel like I'm back to being me. And that's this yoga high that I feel like we get at the end of a yoga practice. And it doesn't always feel exactly the same after every practice. Sometimes I feel really energized after yoga. Other times I feel relaxed, um, more just uh, a little bit like, ah, uh, like almost I just woke up from a really good nap or something. It's always good though, but it just doesn't always feel the same. Um, there's a reason I teach yoga sculpt on Mondays. I always feel like Monday, I'm sluggish to get started. I kind of miss the weekend and then, you know, oh, it's Monday. But then after yoga sculpt, I feel like I worked out that Monday and now I'm ready for Tuesday. And that's kind of how I feel at the end of sculpt. I have that high of feeling like, oh, that was good. And I got to, sweat and have fun. And it's really this yoga high, this experience, this nourishment, this coming back to center is also what led me to want to teach. When I first started the yoga teacher training um, years ago, I wasn't sure that I wanted to teach. I just knew that yoga was important to me and I wanted to learn more and more about that practice. But as I learned about teaching, and I teach for a living, so the teaching element felt very natural for me. 
And it just felt like, how could I not potentially share this with others um, who are wanting to try yoga for the first time or to come back to yoga or to deepen their practice? Because everybody deserves to feel their best. And that's what yoga does for me. I feel my best after I practice when I'm on this yoga high. And, um, and so I want everyone to feel this, um, this yoga high. And I want to be, of course, everywhere at all times for everybody. Um, you know, you want yoga sculpt at 5am. Great. I'll be there. You want vinyasa over lunch. Yes. I want to do that. A 30 minute flow after work just to decompress. Yes. I want to do that. But of course, I'm one person, right? And I can only teach so many hours. And some of you don't live where I live. You can't come to my studio. Some of you did, but you moved away, right? And so you live further away. And so I do, it is one of the reasons too, not only that I teach, but that I created my online membership too, that if you like my brand of yoga, you can have it 24 seven. You can do that yoga sculpt at 5 a.m., the vinyasa over lunch, the meditation after work, the flow over the weekend um, when you are just getting up and getting started. Whatever you're wanting and whenever you're wanting, you can have that class. And I see it really as me being this yoga concierge, right, that I take requests from my members and then I create and record those flows, those meditations that they want and they need, and off they go. There's over 30 hours um, and growing <laughs> um, of yoga and meditation in the membership portal. And it's always evolving and new things come on. Some may revolve off, off as we go. And, um, but there's always something for you to do that fits where you're at that day. And it's a way that I hope I can bring this yoga high to more people more frequently than just me individually in the studio. And I also think it's what you can use if you're struggling with motivation, right? That sometimes it can be hard to think of it's one more thing to do yoga or to practice yoga or to get to the studio. And sometimes that just feels like maybe too much to do. Um, but remembering the why, like think about that yoga high you're gonna have at the end. And that being your motivation to get yourself on that mat. Think about how you felt at the end of your last class. Or if you're thinking about, well, I want to go into the studio like once a week. I really like the studio classes. I don't know about doing the online membership as well. There's, you could try that out. Maybe it's a way to meet yourself on your mat more frequently because you're familiar with me and my classes. And so it will be familiar, right? Um, so think about it. But no matter how you yoga, no matter where you want to start, I do hope that you start. I do hope that you make it a priority to meet yourself on your mat, to use that yoga high, that feeling you're going to have as a way to motivate yourself. Um, also, before I leave, I wanted to remind you to um, like my new Yoga Studios Facebook page. It's called You, Yourself, and Yoga, a Yoga with TG Studio. The grand opening is coming up in October, which you can read about on there. But uh, tell your friends and like the page, especially if you are local. And if you want to start out and you want to know more about my online beginners course, message me if you're interested in that membership so you can yoga at a time that works for you that I'm not in the studio, I'll post the comment or I'll post in the comments a link to that as well. But if you ever have any questions, um, anything at all, reach out. I'm always happy to talk all things yoga. So have a great one and enjoy your yoga high next time that you meet yourself on your mat. And I hope that I'm there as well.